Greetings. So this is going to be a social media influencer or social media. Um, just if you have a social media platform or anything you need to know about it, especially if you are a influencer, a content creator, or maybe you are thinking about it. So I'm just going to do this reading for you guys. I hope this will resonate with those who it's meant to resonate with. But, you know, keep in mind, it's not going to resonate with everyone. I'm sure y'all know the whole shebang. So this is going to be our quickie tarot vibes for today. So let's see. First card, let's pull. Okay, actually, I'm gonna take these because it's three right here. So you have the Five of Cups, you have the Five of Swords, dang, and the Moon. Okay, you might really need to hear this message. You guys have the Nine of Swords here at the bottom of the deck, mind you, with Justice at the top of the deck. So I wanna say this, okay? You have two fives. So you guys might be the way that you're perceiving social media or your social media at this time um i do encourage some of you guys to step away from it if it's affecting your mental health okay your emotional health or your spiritual wellness overall okay you might need to take a step back from it because there's some type of distortion and how you are viewing yourself because of it okay i'm seeing that someone is a target of cyberbullying here because this man in this card is holding a kitchen knife and this woman there's knives all around and she has her hands open or arms open you guys might need to do like a protection some type of protection around you protection works but um prayers around you and something with you being targeted i'm hearing as far as like these knives i feel like represent gossip slander bullying Okay, could be from male social media users. If you are a male, it can still apply to you. But definitely if you're a woman, I'm also seeing something with body issues, body dysmorphia. That is a real thing. If you deal with that, you know what I'm talking about. So this might be a little bit sensitive. For others of you with the five of cups, it could also be that you are kind of perceiving some type of dullness. It's like this... Um, perception that things are kind of bland at this time i feel like in the areas of communication shout out to one of my supporters she messaged me the other day and she said that i'm not sure if it still is in retrograde but gemini um is in retrograde i think she said or something with i think that's what she said something with gemini in retrograde i could be wrong um but because i mentioned that i was taking a break and this could resonate with some of you guys but i am definitely seeing that you might need to take a break from it, okay? Especially if something's weighing heavy on you, words are being said to you that are targeting you with the five of swords. I do see this. This looks like a bullseye. It looks like a target. And this woman's hands are up. So it's kind of like your energy is too open, too receptive to different types of people or energies or things being said and spirit wants you to shut it down. But I do get there's a need for protection, taking some time out with the moon card to reflect and sit with yourself okay so you might need a break from this definitely if you guys are feeling a burnout you deserve rest okay i know if you're someone that's like you gotta stay busy or you're like no i can't neglect what i got going on i can't neglect my my work my business my content whatever it is i completely understand but there is also a needing of rest as well okay so much love to you guys as always be blessed be safe peace